Hello, it's time for another electrocardiography review. Let's talk about the rhythm sinus tachycardia. Sinus tachycardia has basically every feature identically the same as normal sinus rhythm, except for the rate. The rate is faster than 100 beats per minute, but let's back up. So it's got a normal PR interval. It's got a P wave present before every QRS complex. There should be no drop beats. That PR interval should be less than 200 milliseconds which is 0.20 seconds or one big box on the EKG grid. The QRS duration should be less than 120 milliseconds, which is narrow or less than 0.12 seconds or three small boxes on the EKG grid. And they could have aberrancy, so the, e the QRS could be a little bit wider than normal. However, it should be under normal conditions. It's a narrow QRS complex. Of course, you have a T wave present uh, because if you have depolarization, you have to have repolarization. And the rhythm should be regularly regular, meaning the QRS uh, complex to the next QRS complex, what we call the R to R interval, should be consistent. It should stay the same. Sinus tachycardia, like I said, is a rate faster than 100 beats per minute, and it's almost always due to a compensatory phenomenon. It's your body compensating for a decrease in cardiac output for some other reason, or an increase in need uh, for uh, oxygen demand or that metabolic need like we get with our fight or flight response, the sympathetic nervous system or adrenergic response. So sinus tachycardia, usually a compensatory phenomenon, often only requiring treatment such as fluids and supportive care. And that's the EKG review.